Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 22567. This is the newest build from the dev channel, as I've said, for Windows 11. And this build comes with a few interesting changes, a few useful fixes, and also, of course, as we're used to, some known issues. Before starting this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel because a small percentage of those who are watching these videos are subscribed, so it would help me a lot if you would subscribe to my channel. Now let's talk about what is new in this build. First of all, Windows Update will try to schedule update installations at specific times of the day when doing so results in lower carbon emissions. So this is pretty interesting for Microsoft. They're trying to reduce these carbon emissions. As you can see here, we have Windows Update is committed to helping reduce carbon emissions. So this is great news. If you want to learn more about how this is done and how Microsoft created this, you can check out the article down below in the description for more info. In the settings app, we are familiar with the UI your Microsoft account section or page where you can see more info about your Microsoft account but now Microsoft will start to introduce also the Microsoft 365 subscription management and settings this will include payment details and other info and also in the your Microsoft account page Microsoft is highlighting the free benefits you have access to it as part of your Microsoft account and that is good but the Microsoft 365 management thing is only rolling out to a certain amount of Windows insiders so um, if you don't have it yet, you should wait for it. In my case, I don't find it useful. I don't use Microsoft 365, but if you're using it, this could be a very useful new addition for you. A new interesting thing is that the device setup OOBE will include phone linking. So you can now link your Android phone to your PC as part of the device setup. When you're installing Windows 11, you will be able to link your phone to Windows 11. I think all of you are familiar with uh, what this does. You'll be able to have instant access to everything on your phone, even and respond to messages and take phone calls. This is really, really useful. And also Microsoft will be releasing updated ISOs in the coming weeks that will allow Windows Insiders to do a clean install if they want to or set up a virtual machine to run through the device setup experience to see the new phone linking section. Another new addition in the build 22567 is the smart app control, which can be found in Windows security and under app and browser control. This is a new security feature for Windows 11 that blocks on trusted or potentially dangerous applications. And this can only be enabled on devices that have performed a clean install with the latest Insider Preview build or higher. This is really interesting. We have this new section, Smart App Control, Enhanced Protection from Untrusted Apps, and also some settings, but this is turned off because I cannot enable it until I reinstall Windows. Also, Microsoft stated that they will bring more info about this in the upcoming weeks, of course, in the upcoming builds, I may assume. But of course, an enhanced security from untrusted apps is always a nice thing and hopefully this will help us be more secure from viruses and unwanted apps. Another nice change is that Microsoft updated the open with dialog box to align with Windows 11 design principles. I've already done a video in which I showed how to manually enable this because this was a hidden feature in Windows 11 but let me show you how it looks again for those of you who didn't watch that video. We have this new open with or app picker you might call it which helps you select a certain app to to open a certain file format. You have the default apps, the suggested apps, which is good, more options, and you even have the option to browse apps in the Microsoft Store or choose an app on your PC. You can open this with a certain app just once or always. This is a really nice addition, and hopefully Microsoft will update with the Windows 11 experience every other aspect of the operating system. Regarding Start Menu, when you hover over one pinned app icon over another, there will now be a small animation to hint that this will create a new folder and that is really good a really nice animation and they also as you can see fixed the animation to these folder was when you open it up that is really cool also regarding windowing Microsoft updated the multi finger touch gestures to include responsive and delightful animations that follow your finger this is of course for devices that support touchscreen and also voice typing is now available in this build of course the ability to download speech backs and also to choose which microphone you want to use also the the new commands will be available in this new build, so for more info about this, check out the article down below. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft made updates to pages across the settings app to adopt the Windows UI controls for a consistent look and feel across the app. Also, they made it easier to find settings within the app by making improvements to how searching for settings works behind the scenes, so these improvements will provide users with a more accurate set of search results as well as bring 
more relevant search results up to the top of the list. And also, you can now mute and unmute your audio by clicking the volume icon in the hardware indicator for all volumes. So let's just test this out. We have this hardware indicator, this new one. And if we click on the volume icon, this will mute our audio. This is really cool and a great new addition. Also, the updated task manager is now available for all Windows insiders in the dev channel that began rolling out with the build 22557. And now Windows sandbox mapped folders now support relative paths. So for example, slash relative slash folder. For those of you who are using Windows sandbox, this could be a good thing. We also have a good nice set of fixes. All of those will be in the article down below. So all the fixes will be there in the article and also the known issues again will be in the article down below in the description. Now at the end of the video, I want to talk about a known issue that will bother a lot of you and that is the right click on the start menu. Microsoft didn't fix this. So if you right click on the start menu, explorer.exe will crash. But I've done a video in which I showed how to fix this and I'm going to link that video in the article down below or the article from that video. But you're going to have a article down below in which I'll show you how to enable the new taskbar that also fixes a few visual things in the system tray and also fixes the right click on the start menu, which will bring up the Windows plus X menu. So this was the video for today. This was the new build for Microsoft. It's a pretty interesting build, not as exciting as others, but it's a good one. And we are happy that Microsoft provides us with these new builds. If you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.